right, all right. Let's uh, check, see where we are tonight. We got one. We got just the one. <laughs> Still just the one. Okay, two and three. All righty. Here we go. So let me ask it. Retro Richards are here. Oh, we live. I said, are oh, we live? It looks like we are. Vigilante wins to here another episode of, oh, not Friday night games, Sunday night games. Uh-oh. Wrong day of the week. Shows how attentive I've been. Oh, man, I got to change this on all three platforms because we are streaming on three platforms. And feel free to show love to the kick or the Twitch if you are uh, willing to kick it with us or you're twitching, which you probably see a doctor about the Twitch. But in any event, appreciate everybody being here. Hold on, let me get this. Right on all three platforms. Yes, this is Sunday, not Friday. We did do Friday night games. We played some Tekken. Had a lot of it, sweaty Tekken matches, intense ass Tekken matches, while these crazy racial and political and like serious ass conversations happening in the chat. It was way, it was very intense. Melted my brain a little bit. Let's see what we got in this chat. Currently, Tom Jensen, howdy. Utah's in the NIT. Quarterfiles the NIT. NIT used to be bigger than NCAA. I know how the old head said. I'm an old head now, so I said. And uh, Retro Richard with the, the script, Are We Live? I said, Are We Live? Simple anti I don't know who that is. Maybe a distant cousin. Here with another episode of Why You Should Be a Passport Bro 8. I don't know about that. <laughs> I don't know about that. I mean, if you travel, if you, if you got the, listen, if you can travel and find love, God bless you. But don't don't be a simp tourist. That just seems like a bad idea. Um, Retro Richard and uh, Tom saying hi. Got to watch uh, Utah play with Mama Jensen. Shout out to Mama Jensen. Now Retro Richard's watching the Lakers. Lakers are winning though. Yeah, Friday night games. Yeah, I, I, I corrected it. Uh, yeah, Lakers are uh, close to a Playboy. Uh, play, Playboy. I'm seeing Playoff and then Snow Bunny and then Playboy came out. I am a little fried, man. I ain't gonna lie. Um, no, Diddy did not hack me. But yeah, I think the Lakers should be... Uh, in the playoffs, uh, if they don't lose, they could be the fifth and sixth seed. Fair enough. Cool beans, stop paying attention. Yeah, I, I I haven't paid attention at all. Even though I, I did just look at um what Jokic's numbers were for the year, he's still. I think Jokic. I have one eighty. I, I used to be oh Jokic is a good enough defense. I, now I think Jokic is one of the best players of all time. Seriously, it's just it's, he, he's shooting sixty percent. He's shooting fifty eight percent. What what player shoots fifty eight percent? Scores 20 some odd points, 26 points, 12 boards, and like nine assists. That's, that never happens. That's retarded. Um, Hogan and VKM. Uh, you don't get these references. Damn kids and your words. Got to go back. I'll tire it out to Rebirth. All right, Nas is playing Rebirth. Papa Cotton is here. Central Dildo is here. Uh, Real Weight Nation is here. Yes, I need Twitter. I have uh, Instagram. I, I'll just check it because I haven't checked it in a while. Uh, Jamma Lama, Dayo, yeah, I got the day wrong. Um, uh, so I can send you a link. Um, I'll make you. A, oops, I was just trying to make you a mod so you can send a link here. But I have an Instagram. You can you can Instagram me. But I do not have a Twitter. Uh, where's the? Here you go. Add some moderator. Hey, and now you 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 are about 150 points of regulation. That's a lot. That's not. Oh, you just subbed to, with this channel. Appreciate it. Uh, you got a couple channels. Cause I saw you got that interview channel. Okay, so shout out to my man, uh, Josie Clay. He's got me playing the guitar every day, at least fifteen minutes. That's actually what I was doing right before we started the stream. Gustav, uh, still trying to figure out, figure out the name. So Jamma, a lot of people are here. A lot of people are here. Diddy only hacks bussies. I don't know about. Well, yeah, we do know about that, don't we? All right, we're gonna start with Vampire Survivor because Tech One, Tekken is fucking stressful. And I haven't played any of uh, the new, you know, I haven't played this in a while. I don't know how this has been updated. I didn't have all the characters. I didn't have everything anyway. Um, do we got new levels? Oh, I haven't discovered this. Okay. What's this? See, I don't, I don't even know how to play this game anymore. <laughs> Look at this shit. I told you I don't know how to play. Okay, he does that shit. Alright. 
appreciate the link. I'll check it out after this run. What am I doing? Violet definitely in favor. Violet is most important one. I don't like the pentagram, but it's evil, but it's good. This game ripped off Deus Ex. How did this game rip out, out of all games? I wouldn't expect this one to rip off Deus Ex. So if you know it's your, you know, the game you love more, more than anything in life, because it's so based, bro. So based. So I'm not denying it's based. It's aged. There, uh, goddamn, there's always a video of uh, Harry Balafonte singing, Damn, damn. Gotta visualize an attack. Oh, stop. See, see, since you did it, that's how you get a uh, 10 seconds. You know what? Yeah, you can take 10 seconds to think about what you said. We, we gotta be a, a slightly, at least slightly less racist. In the show. I mean, Richard can take it still. 10 seconds to figure out figure out something in life. Wasn't kidding about being autistic. Love these bright colors. Well, like I told you I may or may not be on the spectrum. That's real life. That's real life. I don't know. I had the only person um, I never got it formally diagnosed, but then I did have this one counselor for one session and she was like basically proto-woke and was like weird. I'm, like, I'm not dealing with this crazy bitch. Uh, so I only had her in one session, but she said, yeah, I think you're autistic. And then, honestly, it was kind of a red pill moment. She said, yeah, because I think my hu husband autistic. And she seemed like such a controlling bitch. I'm like, man, she probably ruining that poor dude's life. So, so was, not only was she proto woke, it was kind of a proto MGTOW moment, amongst other things. But I only saw it in one session. So I was like, now, maybe she's right, maybe she's not. I don't know. Listen, I'm an old fart. So, you know, I came up late, mid to late 90s into the early 2000s. So like autism, we didn't, you know, now everyone's autistic. Every every aqua kid thinks they're autistic. And, I, and maybe they are, you know what I mean? I don't know what the fuck they put in the water. No turns to freaking frog gay. But like, the, autism wasn't like a thing like it is now. Like it, yeah, it was a thing, but people just like, it was like fucking whatever, you know what I mean? What did you say last night at the club? girl 16, 17, stepmom pulled up and beat her ass. You called him a half, first, you said, uh, half Dominican, half Jap. Zest, something about Zest. Yes. I, saw, I saw half Dominican, half Jap, half Zest. So I can say that racist. It, I, see, that's the thing. You're so far gone. You're like, that's not that racist. Because compared to most of the stuff, it probably isn't. Shoes are heel. Wow. I say, probably, Richard don't probably mind. But still, slippers hurt. Good Lord. But she deserved to get her ass beat. Fuck. She uh 16 at the club. That ass beating she don't because you know mom don't want to raise a, a grandbaby, so she gotta do something to keep it fast ass now. So yeah. Good for good for that Dominican mom. I mean it sucks that she had to do, do all that. He was cheering. I don't the club sucks anyway. I don't understand, you know what I mean? Unless you're like seeing a show or something. The club sucks. You know, sometimes it's cool to go to a bar. I'm a fat ass, so if it's a bar and grill, they got good wings, I'm cool. You know what I'm saying? Cheap whiskey and good wings, I'm in. But like, just to go to the club, I mean, it's not, nothing's more overrated than the fucking club. All people who want to go to it are 16 years. By the time you grown, like, I don't want to do this shit. Hey, happy dinosaur. Hey, brutal morning wolf. I didn't say anything. See, since you don't got uh, what about the grandma shit? Shit, we used to get uh, the old heads. Remember, pick your old switch. You gotta go outside. You gotta pick a stick, and you got you gotta pick a stick. if it's too small, they'll pick a bigger one. Or you get uh, the extension course. Yeah, I got. But I was a good kid. It wasn't like every day you just, all right, you get beat in the head with a stick. <laughs> it was just crazy. But we had to deal with that shit. You know what I'm saying? 
Oh shit, got him with a knife. That's a bit intense. <laughs> That's a bit intense. Less and less it was like, yo, he had she had to defend herself. Yeah, you probably could drink me under the table. I mean I could I could drink. But I don't be drinking like that, like that. And then I, I hit a point where it's like, no, nah, I'm good. And I just, I can't. I, I tap out at a certain point. But I could drink, but what would, if it's like slow, like if I'm at a bar, I'll probably drink a lot more in a shorter period. But if you're just like wit, like I know when we used to do those, the MFR, I would just go through a, like half a bottle, but it was like six hours, you know what I mean? So you did you you would just drink all fuck you drink six hours you know what I mean? you've been drinking for fucking six hours talking shit for like six seven hours literally six seven hours literally and so you would go you could get through a lot of liquor doing that man you can get through a lot of liquor seriously so I mean you know you can do that smoke a lot yeah I just had some smoke on. That kind of improved my mood. I, was, I didn't really, hadn't been in the greatest mood recently. And I just smoked a couple joints. Sometimes you gotta smoke, like a lot of times, I, most of the time I'm smoking out of a bowl. Sometimes you do need like a joint or me, you know, I, don't, I don't smoke blunts. I ain't smoking blunts so long. Um, sometimes you do need a joint just to, you just need more weed at once, man. A bowl sometimes, you know, that could be a lightweight. You know, I, I feel like I haven't really been smoking as much as I want to. <laughs> but uh, sometimes you just you'll smoke a bowl and just sit there forever. But in a joint, you smoke more weed in a short period of time. Smoked a lot of tuna. There you go. Don't drink or smoke good. Don't keep it that way. You don't want to be like uh, some old farts. Like us. Never try drugs, definitely never sold them. That's good since you know We totally believe that's true. Um, it's a waste of money. Spend a quarter of that for booze. Enough of booze to kill like a baby elephant. Booze gets expensive though. Shit, I just got a bottle the other day. I was trying to I, I walked in, I was gonna get some uh, Evan Williams bottle and bomb. It's a nice, you know, like I said, it's a whiskey, it's a fairly cheap whiskey. 20 bucks I end up because um, I don't know what it is about Texas it's easy for them to get Weller and Buffalo Trace and shit like that but the Carolinas you couldn't find that shit so they had Buffalo Trace on the table it was only extra like 10 12 bucks but still I wasn't gonna spend that you end up spending like 30 bucks on some fucking booze because like, that shit can go quick that can go in a weekend you know what I mean it can go in a day if you if you really want to drink like I, I was just talking about if we did another mf -er, and i just said you know i'm gonna just get through this buffalo trace i can get through half that fucking bottle in a night so it's like 30 bucks that's a, you know, that's a fucking eight you know what i'm saying at least i smoke on the a for a couple days you know what i'm saying that's interesting he said i quit drinking when i was 21 fair enough i didn't start drinking till i was like 25 and then really you know texas is the bull state yeah, you can't get Buffalo Trace. Like some place, apparently when I looked online, some places you can get Buffalo Trace and Weller. And Weller's made by the same company, which is Buffalo Trace. Some places you can get that shit, and some places you just can't. I don't know what's going on with their distribution. Texas is one of the places you can. I've seen Weller's too. They actually had the, uh, what is it, 1.7, basically two liter bottle, one three quarter bottle liter. I don't know what they call it. I'm, I'm not that big of an alky. And I try not to keep my drinking to. I try to keep my. Ah, I try to keep my drinking to a minimum, even though I, I don't. You know, I'll have a drink from time to time. But I don't want to just because I can. Because I can drink. You know what I mean? I remember I was going through. I just mentioned Evan Williams. I, I would go through that Evan Williams, some Jack Daniels, some Gentleman Jack, some uh, Knob Creek. I would be going through that shit. And then I eat sometimes multiple bottles, so you have the, the bottle and bond as like the cheap bottle, and then the non creek as like the, it really is a mid grade bottle, or maybe lower mid grade um, bourbon. And I, and I prefer, I, you know, if I could afford scotch, I might drink scotch, but I'm, a, I'm more of a bourbon guy. I can't drink like some of the, um, like I can't drink a lot of flavored whiskey. I mean, I, listen, I've had Fireball. 
I've had crown and shit like that, but it's just not my thing. So it kind of gets me sick. They try to keep the jammer. It says you keep the drinks in there. You said I'm a mutt and all my coaches drink. Well, I know I got some Irish in there. I've drunk some Irish. Speaking of which, I like the Irish whiskey. I like Tullamore Dew. Obviously, Jameson. I got some bars in my head about Jameson and Mary James and Spider Man. Uh, but, um. Yeah, I'm a, uh, uh, you know. Dr drink is okay. Drink is okay. I mean, sometimes it's dope, but it can get old fast. Damn, you start drinking at 14, jeez. Not a fan of shots. I, I do, I actually don't mind shots. Even though, uh, as allies, so here we go. Here we go with this shit. You want another 10 seconds. It's that Irish on you, in you right now. Whoa. Can I get a pause? The hell you, the hell? No, there's no Irish in me right now. The hell, I mean, it's just part of my genetic makeup, but not like some, what you, you implied. You're trying to get another 10 seconds time. Jason, what'd you miss? We were just talking about uh, drinking. Soul Assassin. Hey, hey, hey. Appreciate you being here. Not a fan of alcohol or anything. Smoke West, the way to be, man. I wish I could go back to being straight edge. I think that's better. I think it's much better to uh, not do anything, man. Because it, one, it's just a bill. And it's not like everything ain't fucking overpriced as it is nowadays. So why, why get another bill? Why do that to yourself? So you better off not drinking and smoking anyway. Smoking cigarettes I never did, or black and miles, or any of that shit. Never smoked a cigar. I never even smoked hookah. Just, just weed for me. Weed is all, all I need. But uh, yeah, I'm, I'm not. I wouldn't encourage anyone to do any of that shit. <laughs> drinking, drinking can sneak up on you, man. You can find yourself in some dark places with drinking. It's, some over, it, it's, e it's easy to overconsume. It's easy to get slightly dependent on too. I've never got, had like alcoholic binges or whatnot. I don't really get hung over a ton, but I just had, I've talked about it, you know, just talking about the MF. -er. There are periods of me on the internet that exist and I don't remember them, but I was there. I just hope I didn't say much, <laughs> you know what I'm saying? <laughs> Cause it, it exists, you know, hours of me on live streams, either my own or the MF -er or whatever, completely drunk, completely not remembering. What the fuck is going on? 80 bucks for a hookah NYC? What the fuck? Give you the big hammer. Decide against it. What? Oh, so you could. Oh, I don't know. I don't want to give anyone the big power to just do whatever they want as far as my. That, that was what talking about. Guideline. I do not have guideline. I'm sympathetic with your issues. I'm an ally. Well, allies are usually the most racist motherfuckers. I don't drink much like I used to. Now I just laugh when young guys drink. Yeah. Don't, I don't drink not straight edge, fair enough. Link me a drunk stream, you tease. You gonna have to go back. I don't I don't remember them. You have to go back to just go to the oldest uh, live streams on the channel. And if you find or go to Matt's channel and go to those oldest live streams and look for stuff from 2021. I would say it's stuff in 2021 is probably where you're gonna find find stuff, especially on the MF. -er. But even, you know, a lot of the random times we just do a pop-up stream. I don't know where they are, buddy. I have like 700 videos and streams on this channel, man. <laughs> Good luck. I don't know where they are, bro. Who is Matt? Oh, man, that's right. You haven't... Sheesh. Matt from Fireball Productions. We used to do a podcast every week for like three or four years. Or three years, I guess, because I've only been on there four years. Two, maybe it was only even two years. Whatever it was. We did a podcast for a long time. It's called The Culture Crime Fighters. And then I would go on his channel. It's, again, it's channel Five Ball Productions. He'll come in the chat from time to time. I would go on his channel. He had a show called The MF, -er, um, The MF -er Cocktail Line. And I, honestly, the last year or so, I kind of fell off. But the first year of that show, I was on uh, most of the episodes. Um, the last year, I didn't get on everyone all the time goodness it just shows like 
how much time has passed. Like, yeah, you know, it's been a while since me and Matt were regular collaborators. So you, there are people on this channel who don't even know who Matt is. It's crazy because he has more subs than me. But he's kind of taking time off YouTube because YouTube is toxic and it can drive you fucking crazy. Um, he, but he does do sketches and skits from time to time. Yeah, yeah, he, he, that's nothing. He got a girlfriend and stopped spurging out on the internet. He, he, he's living a normal life. He's a normal adult. He, <laughs> he became normal. That's what happened to him. Good, and good for him. Good for him, shit. You know what I mean? Good for him. What's normal? Fair enough. You talk to him, you bother him with comedy. Yeah, he's really into comedy. Really into comedy. Nice is a new, he is a noob to the lore. Yeah, I didn't realize that. Keep banning you. <laughs> Voter ID like I'm going to vote. Uh, what is Matt? I haven't talked to Matt in a while. Myself. Woman got in the way. How original. Hey, good for him. From a few years back, New Year's, I was bar hopping with some friends. Tried, I call it the blowjob. Worst shot ever. Watered down liquor. But the point is to sell it to white girls. They're like, oh my god, I just got a blue job. <laughs> they love those stupid ass names in watered down liquor. Overpriced liquor. So, that's who it's for. See, that's another great bar. Suck. They didn't water that shit down. And even if you watch them pour, they didn't already water down the damn bottle. You know what I mean? So, it's like, that shit's watered down. That shit's fucked up. They say, you know, it's always sad if you drink alone at home, but I never felt sad. I don't fuck it. <laughs> Shit. Oh well. gonna crash out Seth off a cop no they didn't I'm not gonna take that seriously Honestly, yeah Bruno said no I'm not trying to be those content creators I need those headaches let me get invited to the occasional live stream when I lost Twitter oh I didn't lose Twitter I just got rid of it I, cause I used to get I think that uh, disconnected me from a lot of people because a lot of people just use Twitter as a uh, you know even real wages say oh man you need Twitter and so once they don't see you on Twitter you're out of sight out of mind and so that wasn't the intention. It was just that I, I couldn't. I started to get into Twitter. Like, that's why I don't, you know, I understand how Papa Cotton can get the rush he gets from uh, Twitter. That's really his main platform, especially now with uh, YouTube being funky. But um, I, when I started to get that high, it's like, no, nah, I don't need this. It was like, the last, you know, when I tried Oxys, where I'm like, okay, I get it. It feels cool, but it feels a little less cool each time. I'm going I'm to I'm have to not fuck with this. And so that's what it felt like. Like, man, I'm going to have to not fuck with this Twitter. Because you start to get high off the, the, the interaction. The, the, you, you start looking for people to, to disagree with. It, it re You look for people to disagree with and to prove that you're right and better and smarter than them and to troll. It, it, it encourages trolling. There's something about that feedback loop that encourages you to troll. And encourages you to look for trolls. And it's like, man, I don't need this in my life. So I stopped using it. That was my reason, you know, my own mental health. And that's why I'm still... I'm never going to be big on social media because I just don't like it. I, I never liked it, even with my space. I, I mean, we talked about it, it was better than this. But I, I still... I, I don't like sharing my business I don't really like giving you know as much as we give opinions and talk shit on this channel I, I don't think my opinion is so valuable that everyone needs to hear it at all times I don't think my life is so interesting that everyone needs to experience it at all times every now and again I'll try to like hey look at this this is cool but never had Twitter that's pretty good I'm sorry if you said something on Instagram and chase that dragon no no I don't want to hey it's Tekken and Vampire Survivor. We'll be playing Tekken later, awesome one. I appreciate you being here. 
I appreciate you being here. Yeah, they're still, they'll still strike my channel for old live streams from like three years ago. Or just, oh, this channel, this this has been banned. This has been banned for three years ago when we used to be a lot more political and all that other stuff. Always been an IG dude. I, I never was an IG dude. I never was a Twitter dude until I did this channel. I had a fake book back in the day, but I didn't really like that. I, I was a Reddit dude. I've gotten back on Reddit just as myself to, you know, but I'm not bit even as big on Reddit as I once was. I used to be on Reddit all the damn time. Uh, I was like, you know, not a, a complete Reddit nerd back in the day. Rich on IG help me get loved by Saudi press. I, I don't think that's why he's there. <laughs> Go ahead and ask for IG. That's all IG is. It's just a baby uh, OnlyFans, unfortunately. Twitter feeds you people to fight with you. You don't have to look. See? That's what I'm saying. Uh, Pop Cotton, that's exactly what I'm saying. It, it, it makes you pause cotton. That's, but no, Twit, uh, IG is about the uh, whole ass. That's all it is. It's about butt, it's about female butt cheeks. That's the whole point of that platform. You buy hoes. You buy hoes where you buy hoes. You too could uh, destroy a woman's self esteem for a life. For the rest of her life, to get her to fuck a camel and get shattered on like VKM for the right price. <laughs> I'm telling you, man. Some girls have done it. Some girls have done it. Some random hoes in mid middle of nowhere America. Middle America. Small town girls. Living in the lonely world. They've been out to Dubai. And uh, said hi to a guy. Giving her a different type of pie. I'm telling you. It's real, it's real life. It's, they're, they're real human with experience in that. I mean, see, we saw it from the whole VKM thing when it was like, oh, he shit on the girl. It's like, wow, that's crazy. But I mean, you got to think, if you're rich and you're paying for sex, you're not paying for normal shit. You can get a girl to fuck you off and just having to fuck your Bentley and shit. If you're paying a girl to fuck and you're already rich, you're paying for something wild, right? You're paying for something that's probably like sick. Cause why else would you pay? You would just try to just kind of trick like, oh, I'm rich, but you wouldn't like, here's 10 stacks. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. America is perception. I, I remember when I was in Charlotte, there was a dude from, uh, when Richard said, he says, uh, immigrants really going to Michigan, going to America, just being a slum in the hood. When I was in Charlotte, there was a dude, uh, working at a gas station from one of the islands. I couldn't tell you which. But he was saying, man, people back home think America is so great. They don't know how hard it is here, how shitty it is here. He used to use the term shitty, but just based off messed up and how tough it is. Get shot. Yeah, we made it. Get shot. Exactly. America's rep. Like, they don't realize, no, it's, you got some of the same problems you had at home, bro. Depending on where you live. Especially if you're going into the slums. And they don't realize it. They just think America's so great. You know, sometimes cuck conservatives will, will say, oh, you know, America's so bad, why do people uh, still come? Because they don't know how fucked up it is. Because of the rep. Because <laughs> of the rep. Shit. Because, I mean, you know why I know that? Because a lot of the, um, I forgot what the word is. And I don't want to say nothing crazy. But basically, immigrants that come in because they obviously legal okay legal immigrants that come in and they like uh, prefer basically I, I can't think of the word but it's like okay they got money they could they can live anywhere they don't have to live here they can go back home and still be good those type of immigrants a lot of them end up going back home from the west 
either if you know a lot of them come to America, come to Canada, thinking it's gonna be better, and they realize it's so much more expensive and fucked up, they go back home, say fuck it. I'm going back to Nigeria. I'm going back to the Philippines. I'm going back to India. I'm going back to whatever fucking country I came from. You know, I, I came as a doctor. I didn't come on the, you know, 50 of us in the back of <laughs> some van or something. I came as a doctor. And fuck it. I might as well go back home. Fuck this shit. You know what I'm saying? People do. Yeah. All the critics love you in New York. Think it easy like when they was in 80 Prime. Thank you to old heads. Yeah, I I do shit. I would not want to. I would not trade places. I was working on a song about how I'd rather be dead than young again. I would not want to be young in this era. Oh my god, y'all got this is one of the craziest eras to try to be young. Outside of the video games, I don't know what it would be. And the video games have already fallen off. There's no advantage to being young now. If, if you do something embarrassing, you're a fucking mean. Forever. Friend y- yours came. Uh, the Dominican from Miami couldn't take it anymore. Miami's a tough place to live, man. Because it, it's, you know, Bentley cool, Bentley cool project. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Ferrari, Ferrari project. Housing <laughs> project. It's a hell of a place to live, man. Gotta be a mind fuck. And I only visited there, but that's what I was saying. It would just be like Lamborghini, uh, Carroll City. <laughs> that's what I'm saying. Like, golly. Like, this, is, this, is, this is a crazy place to fucking be, man. Man, man. Oh, uh, man, body is like if I played NBA for 30 years, I'd see the injuries. To get that perk. Feet put money. No, that's not what. what I, you know, I don't know what uh, what does for money, and I, you know, I don't want to know. <laughs> I don't want to know. I don't want to get indicted. I don't want to be asked. Well, this <clears throat> on Sunday night games in in March 2024. You said this, and and our client said this. Our client Bjorn or whatever his name, real name is, said that. I don't want to get indicted or be a, a witness. But nothing. I didn't do it. My name is Bennett. I ain't in it. No, dude, the smuggled immigrants said he didn't. They still border signs. Okay. So they were still the border signs. Put them in some woods, drop them off there to get caught. Five G's per head. Wow. That's some scam shit, bro. <laughs> so he was scam immigrants. And just leave them in a place that wasn't really the border. And just say, yep. Oh, man. Man, somebody probably wanted to tune his ass up for that shit. Golly. Sweet gig, how do I sign up, right? I bet somebody gonna end up uh, <laughs> getting a somebody family member. I don't know if you gonna be able to get away with that shit scot free. Uh, this is where we die, guys. For this run. That's wild. That's some wild shit. I'm already half an hour in. I yeah. I don't know how long we should go before we get into Tekken. Because Tekken is going to be frustrating. Yeah, keep playing. At least if I can get some. At least one more run. Get some water. Gotta hydrate. Alrighty. So we do another good run. I'll probably just go play tackle. I'm not sure how long these streams gonna be. You know, the next few streams are a little shorter than usual. You know, apologies. I don't, cause I, I ain't really had the stamina for the three, four, five hour streams. Immigration got chill. Oh, Popo got him with a jail for a year or two. 
still made a bad build a house. So it was like, man, it's kind of worth it. You willing to go to jail for a year? Shit, home ownership out here is like, whoa, you own a home? Like, well, you know, in Texas, there's a lot of people own homes, but in America as a whole, it's harder. But a lot of people who own homes in Texas got in before the crash, or got in for these rates went fucking sky high. So they've been at only home. I don't know anything. Yeah, I don't know anything about smoking. <laughs> uh, so they fucking speak go anywhere. They do anything to get here. They listen. Oh, okay. So you been doing the coyote other thing too? Do they got? Don't tell me, please. Don't ask that question. I don't want to know. I don't want to know if you indicted. it. Keep it on the low Cause a lawyer is something I can't afford so Thank you anyone watching this live Or on the playback Cause that counts too Gotta stop these Mexicans man They ain't all Mexicans They uh a lot of Central and South Americans. They get into Mexico and they get here. A lot of them Ecuadorian, fucking everything. But I know it's fucking up New York for something crazy. These sanctuary cities, it's fucking up these places for something crazy. It, it was a crazy idea. It did. Our government <laughs> bought buses. For these motherfuckers to go to like Chicago and New York and some of these cities and, and take, you know, the powder cakes these cities already were in New York and Chicago make them that much worse. It's just like craziness. Yeah, a lot of Af yep, Africans will do it. Yep, they'll, they'll go there. All, all sorts of people, they, they get into, uh, like, yeah, even, even some Asians are going through that southern border. Now, I remember Asians going through the northern border, too, back when I was in Michigan. They were, hey, there was parts of Michigan when the lakes freeze, you could walk over. But nobody, and it's easier to get into Canada. So you, as long as you can get into Canada, you can get into Michigan. So that was a thing, too. Come here. Start a nail shop, everything good. <laughs> like, you know what I mean? You got NGOs bringing them here. Yeah, it's a, it's a whole mess. It's a whole mess. And, it's, and of course, you got people. Listen, I'm not trying to tell people, you know, they shouldn't come in or, you know, legal. Do whatever you do, do it legally. If you, you know, I mean, I know I smoke weed, but it's kind of legal. Right? But, like, you know, this idea that like a country that like especially the state we're in we have our own homeless that we are not dealing with we have our own problems we are in a crisis we can't take everybody's you know issues and i get it this, what the state's trying to do is that we've talked we've talked ad nauseum about this fucking um the birth rate issue and we're not and this is not a global issue anyway so it ain't just uh, the West no more, but that notwithstanding, we're not replacing ourselves. And I think it's at a much higher rate than it's being reported, but I can't prove it because all we got is the numbers we have available. But in any event, we're not replacing ourselves. So they're trying to do it in the West, both in, in Europe and in America. Oh, look, we'll use immigrants to replace our numbers. Why do you think they even did anything with, with the smorsion or the, well, I guess I could say it on this. I, hopefully I can say it on this platform, the abortion laws at all. Now, a lot of y'all said it was distraction, and I think there was definitely something to that. But a lot of it was just like, man, if we can increase the fucking numbers any way we fucking can, we, we have to, because we don't have enough taxpayers of our, our future generation. By the time my generation die off, there's the, the fucking population might be a third to half of what it is now. So, you know, that seems like a problem. Now, we do have a lot of layoffs coming, a lot of automation layoffs, a lot of, you know, my company got rid of a few people because we were able to automate some things. It's crazy. Design. 
So as automation and AI becomes a bigger thing, that's going to be a, a problem in and of itself. But, man. Hey, Slash, a long time no see. Appreciate you being here. Citizenship to military service? Ooh. That's an interesting take. I had a neighbor who was retired Border Patrol. Said the amount of people from other countries not stopping. Yeah. They're not all Mexicans. We just, we, you know, they get a lot of quote unquote blames. A lot of Ukrainians wear sombreros and ponchos, right? The American dream. What happened to the American dream? It came true. It's my favorite part of the Watchmen. What happened? The Watchmen's actually a cold little movie. It's a bit long. It's a bit Zack Snydery, but it's kind of cold. That's the disarm the troops. So, oof. There's 13 new congressional seats coming based on recent stats. I'm doing my part. <laughs> Get an import of voters. That's that is a definitely thing. I wonder how that's going to work though. Because what are a lot of these countries fleeing? A lot of these people are fleeing communist regimes. Now, you might get a generation that just vote Democrat just because. But if they got any sense, they're like, wait, I, I came here from a communist regime. Why would I vote another one in? We saw that in, in places like Texas, in places like Miami that was, or just Florida that was mentioned where a lot of Latino people voted uh, Republican. Because they don't, they don't want to deal with communism. That's what the fuck they... What they here? If you're Cuban, why the fuck would you want to deal with communism? That's the whole fucking reason you're here, dealing with all this American bullshit in the first fucking place. <laughs> what well, what was supposed to be my favorite uh, moment in the Watchmen, Richard? I'm scared to think. Funny as shit. Pakistani said, <laughs> Pakistani said they're Ukrainian when they got caught with Poland. That's crazy. Yeah, Watchmen's a pretty solid movie. You should be scared. It sucks that they, when they made it a series, they fucked it up. They could have really just did a, uh, an authentic mini series of the, the original Watchmen story. That'd be really cool. And yes, nothing. Latinos are typically more culturally conservative. Hell, those, you know, I mean, you do see sometimes, you see a black family or a white family, but most of the families I see here are Mexican, man. When you see wife, kids, husband. The West has broken families, man. Most of our, uh, most of the people born, at least in the, I don't, you know, I don't know if this is still true, but it, I feel like it was either very close to being true or absolutely true. So, you know, I smoke a lot of weed. So I, I can get numbers wrong, but basically more of our, uh, most of our kids are being born to single mothers or at least unmarried mothers, you know, cause I guess uh, you could be, it doesn't have to technically be a single mother if she's, you know, if they're still with the dad or, you know, she got some other sim to met. <laughs> but most of our kids in this country are being born regardless of what race they are. So you know how much I love be biggest. I ain't got shit to do with it at this stage. Uh, most people, most people are being born to unwed mothers. They're being born out of wedlock. So, you know, the family is something that's, that's why the birth rates are down, because we destroyed the fucking family. And they, they over, they overplayed their hand. Now it's like, well, shit, who gonna replace it? And then y'all feed us poison, so we all gonna die early. Hey, Zax. TikTok generation, absolute morons, futures mixed up of Wally idiocracy. Yeah, it, yeah, unfortunately it is. And shit, I'm damn near Wally out myself. So I can't say shit. Yeah, the future generation is Wally plus idiocracy. You ain't lying, you ain't lying there at all. You ain't lying there at all, man. After this, we'll uh, get into that damn Tekken. 
which I haven't been play, playing as much. I haven't really been doing much. You know what I mean? I'm working, you know, you know, I'm working on music and listening to a lot of music oriented, like songwriting oriented stuff. And you know, give me some cool ideas. I ain't gonna lie. Hopefully, I'll, I'll start to apply them. Breaking down songs, breaking down production, tutorials, guitar stuff. That's. That's mainly what I watch. Plus, you know, I still got my guilty pleasure. This compilation. That's it. Okay. Uh, we should be. Oh, yes, we should celebrate when TikTok is gone. It's right. Yeah, ask Cubans what they vote for. It's not going to be commies. Yeah, it is not. So I don't know. You know, they might be importing more voters. Now, I'm sure that's the intention, and they might get somebody. They might get some few people. But a lot of times, now that what they probably is going to do. But I, I, you know what? I maybe shouldn't say talk too much about the vote thing. I, I feel like somebody just got um, something from an old. I feel like I just saw a video where somebody was talking about uh, they got into trouble over an old video talking about the election. And we are in an election year. So if I start talking about the idea that a party may just fill out the ballots however they feel about, if I say something like that, there's trouble afoot. You know what I'm saying? If I just say, oh, man, you know, they don't necessarily need you to, to you know, no matter what button you push, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> that don't need to actually matter. It just matter what button they count. It's if I say something like that in this day and age, you know, it could be trouble. But I didn't say that. I said if I did. It's hypothetical. Like that Google demon bot is going to know the difference. But, yeah. So, sorry. I'm just, uh, we're switching games. We're going to get into Tekken. I don't know why I sound so disappointed. Here's some free shit. Vote for us. Hey, Fizz Chozo. I'm an entrepreneur. Oh, boy. Uh, TPTB? What's TPTB? Um, Jamma Lama. Yeah, entrepreneur. Isn't that the most overused social term on social media? I'm an entrepreneur. No, you're not. We have a Californication. P. Diddy for president. Don't give him any ideas. I don't know what's taking, taking so long. I, got, I saw it come up. We got to do something else. It's funny. I've been thinking about looking into the Red Hot Chili Peppers just to, because of uh, guitar stuff. Oh, the powers that be. I see. I never saw that abbreviation. But they are pretty good at implementing their plans. They use both sides, you know, as much as we, we come down. And we should come down on a fucking communist regime that we call the Democratic Party. They deserve every bit of spite and blame and hate that you give them. But, you know, the Republicans, their job is to make it look like they're doing something. You know, throughout different phases, they use different parties as the demons. You know, there was a point where when they needed to blow shit up, they used the Republicans, they used George Bush. They had to blow up a bunch of shit. And I mean, they used little Obama too, don't get me wrong. But they a lot of the po policy-wise shit, the Patriot Act and all that evil shit that they put in, they, that was under the Bush regime. And then the, the Democrats did nothing. And this game is not starting, guys. Okay. Let's exit the game. Stop it. And Twitch. I don't know what's going on. Okay, let's hit play. Damn, I've already played 65 hours of this game in like a week. I'm talking about, oh, man, I ain't really been playing it like that. Goodness gracious. That's a lot. <laughs> That's a fucking lot. Okay, I don't know what that was. It's coming up, though. Is it gonna show up? There we go. Alright, ready? Let's see what. I wish Kanye won. I vote for Kanye. Fuck it. Kanye, sexy red, twenty twenty eight. Fuck it. Space is the final frontier, but it's made in a Hollywood basement. Whoa, that's a hell of a lyric. <laughs> red hot chili peppers, based, <laughs> based as shit. 
Do y'all think uh that you just put that out there, Soul Assassin? Uh, do y'all think uh we really landed on the moon? Did somebody recently land on the moon? Supposedly. I feel like another country did. I'll do some quick match with Paul. That's from yeah, I, I know that's from a sign, but I mean that's that seems to be what it's implying. Space is the front front. I mean, it might be implying just the fact that we're not doing anything towards space and we care more about entertainment. That could also be the implication. But I feel like there's a tacit implication of yeah, you know, y'all know we didn't really go out there. I mean, this footage could have been fake. Could be real. I wouldn't there. Yeah, Californication. Oh, that is Californication. Yeah, I'm at. To, yeah, I heard that song. I used to love the song when it was out, but you know, I ain't pay attention to the lyrics like that. Just get ready for the next battle. Da, 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 Californication. Californication. I just remember the melody and shit, but I don't remember the lyrics. Get ready for the next battle. Viva Californication. <laughs> not that far from one. Fight. Fight. Listen to the words close. I'm gonna have to. India did. They show Super Nintendo graphics. Whoa. And I gotta pay attention. That's it. Nice. Government of Dominican Republic of Santiago blames women in the colors mindset for the lowest. Oh, man. Sorry, now I can't. Oops. See as much of what you guys in chat. Like, okay, I got to Says good. The real shit started season two. Was set up for the craziness. Fight. Got it. Yeah, it's pretty sad. So Red Hot Chili Pepper with uh, James Dixon. Oh, man, that's pretty dope. Didn't Dave Navarro, wasn't he in both bands? Or am I, am I making that up?
Man, sit. It's over. Nice, T. Hey, zombie. Uh, Red Hat, the Hollywood Palladium, we'll do a full pump rock set. BC Boys, Nirvana. Oh man, you guys saw some classic ass shows. Appreciate Zombie Man being here. Appreciate everybody being here. Stop bleaching their skin. Yeah, well, we saw Sammy Sosa. That should have let us know there was something up. I mean, because he, how can that be acceptable? <laughs> like, nobody told him, hey, Sam, you look crazy, bro. You look wild as shit. Nobody said that to him. He thought, yeah, I'm lighter skinned, so that's good. That's all that matters. Oh, what? I think I might let up right at the wrong second. God, later. Doing pretty good counter punch. Right? Starting not to give a fuck. I don't open my door anyone wearing a badge. That's, that's, hey, they ain't got to warn. You don't got to do shit. It's their job to, the burden of proof is on the state. <laughs> shit. Nice hop kick. That was well timed. Sorry, I'm. You guys are talking about some season mystery. That's our mystery box. Sorry, Chad. I wish I could talk more. But, you know, one away. Give me a second chance. Oh, shit, that might be it. Already. Sammy Sosa was praised and celebrated for doing it. That's sick. That's sick. That's sick. Golly. Get ready for the next battle. That's crazy as shit. It's a, it's a crazy world we live in, man. I don't know what to say. I wish I had all the answers for everything. But, man, that's fucked up. <laughs> That's fucked up, cause he looks crazy. Get ready for the next battle. He looks crazy. Oh shit, Red Hood cosplay. That's pretty cool. Chad Sharp said he ain't coming over here no more. Wow. Well, shit. I guess the DRs maybe not as passport bro friendly as it once was. Because that was. Oh, the Dominican Republic. Dominican Republic. That's all they kept talking about.
Damn it. This fat Chinese dude seems basic. I think he was a Doctor Strange. I don't know what show y'all talking about. Y'all, I guess, you know, I need to know. Ain't my business. Six nine about to be out the door, so I kick the people out. D'Angelo Russell came here, said he'll never come back. Jeez, I didn't know the Dominican was like that. Goodness. Y'all thought I was capping about Dominican. It's an American tier back. Let's see, I don't know. I mean, just people just talk it up like it's so cool to be. I mean, I just, I mean, I didn't think he was necessarily capping. I know you, shit, you live there, so you don't have a better perspective than some asshole on the internet. But it's just crazy how much people talk shit about. like it's so great, and then. You like man, that shit's crazy. So they eat, they are the snow bunnies. I see. Right, get up! Shit! You have one little foot. I was talking about that. I'm there, there, the delusional. Talk about body problem. Good sci-fi. Man, I haven't heard of it. Damn it, damn it, damn it. All right. Golly. It's a Netflix, I see. When we were talking about bands earlier, I was watching something on Weezer. I don't know how many people like Weezer, and I used to like Weezer a lot, right? But like, one, I don't like their music as much as I, I, as I used to. And I didn't realize, like, their front man, Rivers Cuomo, however you say his name, he's a real nut job. He's really fucking weird. Yeah, Jason Ty is giving me a work. Oh, 
Man, I'm getting whooped on. I'm getting whooped on, man. No, Weezer, they were a band in the 90s and the 2000s. I think they might still be around. I used to like them. And I don't know if Whiny's that what you call the 90s. I don't know. But, uh... Yeah, the guy's weird. That is... Or maybe, you know, maybe it was some... Some reference to some demonic shit, but you set whole year in a room, dark room for no reason. Didn't talk to anybody. You have to replace a guy in his band. He just sat there eating cereal, and every time the guy was like, yo, I'm gonna fucking leave. What the fuck is wrong with you? Uh, he, he, he wouldn't look like he, he's, he really is a weed incel nerd, or at least was. That's pretty cool, Richard. You say you're doing mods. I wish I knew how to do mods. He's really an incel nerd. And then Pinkerton's really incel pod. Just doesn't age that well. Doesn't age that well. But then again, I'm not sure how many people you fuck with uh, any of that shit in this chat. We were talking about Red Hot Chili battle. Peppers and... Nirvana and a few other 90s bands. So, like, you know, I saw something. Like I remember the 90s. Round one. Music Fight. was pretty good, maybe a bit overproduced. And it had some good songs. It definitely had some cool songs. You know? I said, the front man's pretty weird. Incels, they don't exist, it's just unmotivated. Fair enough. Fair enough. I, I do agree with that take. But he was he was weird. He's a weird dude. I mean I just I guess I'm just using that as a descriptor. Like he is kind he is that guy. He's he was a proto Discord mob, basically, I'm trying to say. Before Discord existed, he existed. That's what I realized from watching stuff. But he's that guy. He's he was Proto Weave is really into Japanese culture. I think he married a Japanese woman. We say, oh, this is business. And, oh, yeah, and then a lot of his lyrics were not that good for him to be so focused on them. But even his, you know, the guitar stuff he was doing was pretty simple, which is cool to learn. It was just power chords, you know what I'm saying? Once you learn power chords, you, you know every Weezer song. Except the hip, hip. Which is probably the best song that uh, I'm just saying. Even then, it has power to it. Pretty mid band, honestly, off this percentage. And I feel like I, I used to think they were a little bit better than me. And I'm like, no, they weren't. Really weren't. Really weren't. <laughs> like, really weren't. And, you know, to me, that best song is probably like Say It Ain't So. Buddy Holly is just, those lyrics. Are, I mean, I guess it's supposed to be ironic, funny. What's with the honey? This is my girl. Funny trying to front. Like, see, I'm this nerdy white guy and I'm using semi hip hop language. Isn't this ironic, guys? And it's only 94. Like, eh. Kind of gay, <laughs> you know what I mean. Be honest, but whatever. Okay, man. <laughs> okay, brother. You know what I mean. I just I didn't and I used to like this band. That's what it is. Like, they, they really are overrated, bro. So they got good songs though. So I don't want to totally bash them, but there are good songs in their catalog. But overall, I, I think this is one of those overrated bands. For as long as they were around, and as much as they probably sold, like, they really ain't, they really weren't that good. Nice. They were so cool because they were so dorky. That was the uh, that was the gimmick. But and they really were genuinely dorky. That wasn't totally the word. 
He said, Lamb of, Lamb of God has a song called Dish that literally makes your neck hurt. You be headbanging that hard. Yeah, that was their gimmick. Oh, we're so ner Are they so nerdy and awkward? It's actually kind of gay. You know what I mean? I want lamb over rice. Shout to lamb. Song rip. Shout out to Metal. I gotta say, you know, I've said this before, but Metal had the most loyal fans. Motherfuckers are a fan of a metal band. They, they'd be a fan of them for fucking life. Yeah, they have objectively good songs in their catalog, definitely. And that's why, I, you know, I don't feel totally crazy for liking them. But I, I thought they were a better band, but when I, I listen to them now, so, I mean, still, some of this is still cool. But some of this does not hold up. I'm getting work. I don't bend in the middle anymore. <laughs> My old man hold back. Dinner with P. Diddy or dinner with VKL? Can I have dinner alone? Shit. Pause. Yeah, I don't want to have dinner with Vince, uh, Vince McMahon or Puffy. If I can help it, uh, Richard, I would like to not give up the bussy to any of these weirdo uh, rich guys. I really, there's no famous. I mean, I ain't gonna say it totally. They can be famous people. I don't, Young, black, and famous with money hanging out the anus. He did say that, didn't he? He did say that. Money hanging out the anus. Now we know why he said it, man. Now we know what he was saying. 22, 24 version of Last Supper. Basically. VKM is Vincent Kennedy McMahon. It's Vince McMahon. The wrestling promoter from WWE. That is a real lyric. Yeah, I forgot what song he said. That's a real lyric. It's a real lyric, for real, yes. And I forgot what song he said it on. But he said it in the 90s, so we didn't think nothing of it. It was, oh, it's just the 90s. People say dumb shit. Yeah, rappers say a lot of, yes, they say a lot of gay stuff. A lot of gay stuff. Some of these rappers be saying, like, what the fuck? Not, we didn't notice it back then, no. We just, I don't know, we just took it. And now we see how the industry works. But no, a lot of these dudes had to fuck each other. It come Puffy. Puff Daddy is not the most, ain't exactly the most heterosexual nickname to get yourself either. You know what I'm saying? Like, what the fuck? And then P. Diddy makes it even worse. Yeah, we shouldn't be surprised at all. It just shows how, even though the 90s kind of was supposed to be the edgy era, we were still fairly innocent. We still didn't, you know. We still didn't know, like, I don't know. We, we just went, went along with, with shit. The NWA did not. But then again, uh, you got Dr. Dre and the World Class Record Crew before he was in NWA with the shiny suits and the, the makeup and shit. I mean, granted, I was trying to do the little Prince thing, but still. Tried to kill... I think I vaguely heard this story, but I don't... Is anybody else playing? We got to go with Ray. Most, yeah, most people didn't do it, but Diddy was always 
So yeah, did, like, you know, it, easy was yeah, one from easy fucking those. But then again, no, I should I said should say that. Shug literally admitted on Jimmy Kimmel how how easy got killed. Literally was like, oh yeah, they put uh, HIV in the needles and then they stick it with him. Like, oh okay. And then you got a man saying that's what he think happened to Easy. Easy was uh, apparently on like a ATV or four wheeler, and he did acupuncture after he had like an accident, and he thinks they put something in the needles in the acupuncture, which is crazy. So I guess we gotta do rank match. So Easy was the man. That's why he's dead as shit. Anybody that's cold, they, they got to go. Unfortunately, they can't let. Because they don't. Anybody who's not going to be down with giving up the bussy to a stranger for, for fame, they're not going to be around long. And now they don't even let you. Uh, but good. Oh, he did say this. Yo, these are actual lyrics from the 90s. And he just gave Puffy a pass for some very sus shit. Easy was no dummy, yeah. He, that's why he had to go. He had to go. He wasn't a dummy. He wasn't scared of their agent, uh, Shud Knight. I think Shud Knight was an agent. And so he was like, well, nah, you gotta go. You got to go. So unfortunately, that's how it happens. Is it weak? Oh, shit, dragon off. All right, I gotta focus, guys. How can I be my homophobic my bitches get? I, I, I thought that lyric was funny. I cannot be homophobic my bitches get. I guess you could have a totally different context, right? First girl was a lesbian, not gonna lie, fair enough. A lot of these lesbians still like peace. Don't let the, the, the butch attitude fool you. Haven't been so happy to be a metalhead in a long time, really? I said metalheads usually pretty loyal to the soil when they peace. Yes, some gay rap stuff here. Even Ralph Hal Halford didn't get that gay. Yeah, he was actually gay. <laughs> he didn't get, yeah, man. Even he didn't get that gay. He was actually gay. No, I'm not playing all my ninjas gay. That's like your favorite song. I feel like we played that like a like 50 times, or at least been offered to play that show 50 times on this show.
Got him. Next step wave. No, I'm not playing that. such an important round and the way I lost it the momentum switched so quick How mad I am! Fuck! I had that shit won! I fucked up at the last minute of that one round. I could never recover. Shit! Round one. Fight. Follow figures, the hollow triggers, sw uh, swallow it, uh. And we, oh no, that's not good. <laughs> we see why we had all that pink stuff for. Ooh. Set, right? Let's <laughs> get it out. least why I hate I hate this game man
Goodness, Spurgeon equals views. Way funny when you lose. It probably is, but it pisses me off. I want to win. I want to lose like a losing loser. Look at this shit. I want this to be my reality. No! That's just a passion and wins. Golly. I'm a passionate winner too. Oh, fuck these things. That's why I play though. It's just like when you win, it feels so great. Y'all don't know how hard Tekken is. That's the, it's not like it's a bunch of Tekken fans in the chat. And so Tekken is, even though it's my favorite fighting game and I play it better than I do others, for a lot of people, it's the hardest. Because there's a trillion moves to account for. Come round, yeah, it was, th that that lyric battle. is wild, Claudio. Here we go. I would love to get into Orange Ranks. I don't know if I even did in Tekken Seven because by the time I did, it already sold so many things, so it was a lot harder to get into those ranks. Selena Gomez is looking good. What well, she usually do? That makes me. I ain't gonna scream. Man. That's a good. Good call. I've been forgetting about rage art. That's my problem. Spit and never swallow and come around. <laughs> I hope that's not a real lyric. Murray P. Diddy made me pretty. Did it for the money. Oh, it's. Can a ninja get with me? Oh, no. I get mean, now we're going back. Thank you, Retro Richard, for being retro enough to break down the fucking bad boy era lyrics. Holy smokes. Not a gayer set of words had ever been found before or since. And they were, remember, Bad Boy was extremely popular, especially after they sacrificed Biggie. Especially Puffy and Mace. They sold like five and ten million albums. And they were saying some of the sussy boy stuff, the battiest boy stuff, known to man. Fight. 
just all Batsy Boy stuff. Boy, did he? Yeah, with <laughs> That's not a real one. No, that's fake. I don't buy that one. No way he said that. He said, bust in your margin and I soften the thug? There's no way. No way that's on the song. No way. You, you made that one up. I feel Vindicate called that stuff. You must have subliminally heard something. Like, what the hell did he say? That's for real. Yeah, that's gay. You were vindicated. Hey, Courtney. You were vindicated calling that gay. That's gay. And you say not, not that there's anything wrong with that, but it's homosexual. That's not heterosexual. That's <laughs> not. No heterosexual person would say some of these things. That's not even leaving anything to the imagination. What else could it possibly be about besides gay sex? <laughs> and now I'm getting whooped on. So look what just happened because I'm sitting laughing. I gotta focus. They all start spitting gay. Apparently, goodness gracious. I mean, he's literally talking about busting in your margin. Like, what are you? Okay, what were you talking about? If it wasn't gay, fine. What the fuck did you mean? Cool, it wasn't gay. How, though? You need an explanation. You can't just say that on a record that probably millions of people bought. You thought the water was turning the frogs gay. It was the hip hop. It was the hip hop turn the frogs gay, bro. All that shiny suit music. Turn the frogs gay as fuck. But nobody pay attention to lyrics. Nobody pays attention to lyrics. No matter what genre, nobody pays attention to lyrics. And so that's that's how we get there. Got her. Twas Diddy, yeah. Don't be saying hip hop, right? It really wasn't. It was Diddy music. It was Diddler music, apparently. Are you staring at the wall, hands in your ball? So you can do this all day, because you're going all day with these Get lyrics. For the next battle. Golly, we didn't even know it. And Mason up there sitting there, and Mason Cameron sitting up there laughing, knowing all the gay shit they said, and they lied. All the sussy boy shit. Cameron really went the bad boy rapper. He's friends with Mason. He, you know, you got him some sussy boy stuff. Researching. I don't blame you, man.
Let me try to get to the orange ranks in this game. Remember the game. And uh we'll just keep doing what we're doing, I guess. Yeah, that's crazy. <laughs> that's just crazy. Crazy as fuck. Is anybody playing? Guess nobody's playing Tekken anymore. I don't see nobody. Right? I'm going to take a smoke break. Shit. Duct tape and butt grapes. Oh, my God. <laughs> this is getting worse. <coughs> we need to do a stream all these gay lyrics. Hip, just call it hip hop is gay. I mean, golly, I didn't realize it was this deep. <laughs> Pun not intended. Oh no, I shouldn't have said that. <laughs> I shouldn't have said it's not that deep. Should have said that. That's not what I meant. It's a certain dominance. Yeah, right. <laughs> It's a certain dominance, certain dominant homosexual traits. Apparently, it's not a lot of grape going on in the, in the pen. Apparently, it's just people giving up the bussy willingly. That's the ledge. That's the that's the rover. That guys are just going in there is like, all right. I know what time it is. <clears throat> then they they be coming out acting like they ain't do that. I don't, don't go to prison, kid. I've never been in jail. I've never been arrested. Knock on wood. God willing, that stays that way the rest of my life. God, please, anybody? Yeah. Come on, come back in. That's what she said. Shit, that's what Cam said, apparently. Goodness. I don't know what we do if nobody else is going to fucking come online. And become practice for protect. Yeah. They don't want to get their ass beat, so they just go to the biggest dude and uh, give the bussy up off the off the strength. Like they 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 will they will the bussy. Come if you want to. Come if you want to. God, Lee. <laughs> like they're not leaving anything to the imagination. I don't want to hear context and no. They're not leaving anything to the imagination. They're pre this is pretty straightforward stuff. Metal lyrics. Yes, they're so. There are good lyrics in hip hop. This is not, the, but we have not been given them. How can you get? To, <laughs> how can you get to have? How can? You, ugh. I don't know. <laughs> Fizz, how can you get aroused to that man? But hey, uh, the booty warrior said, "Booty's the most valuable thing on earth." He's out, by the way, the Booty Warrior. He was not just a Bulldog's character. He was on some documentary. And he, he's out and about. You know, I mean, you know, getting all the man butt he can get. Get ready for the next battle. Talking about he wants you and he needs you. Talking about he can do this the easy way and the hard way. We go past Jack, and you can get your ass ate. I want to try to get that. You know, people would say, you know, didn't mean it like that. I want to try to get that some, but I don't know, man. Yeah, this is not a good representation of hip-hop right now. This is the low. This is the lowest of the low. Yeah, it's probably some sus. Everybody got. Sus you were like, wait, what did you say? What the fuck? 
Did you just say my guy? This ain't looking good for hip hop, man. He's not not the not the lyric set we just we just heard. Oh my goodness. You go back to back perfect? No. Almost came back, that's what she said. Oh, that was bullshit. Nice, booty warriors, man. Round four. Yeah, these are, man. I gotta focus. Hold on. God damn it. I know, since you the booty of warrior, oh, man. Subscribe ubiquitous. <laughs> he was ahead of his time. Yeah, you can look back and say he was ahead of his time with the sussy boy shit. He was an innovator of, of Batty Boy music. Deflowered you. Whoa. Bullshit, just to give me that. Round three. Fight. <laughs> That's too much. I'll show you. Oh, she got enough time to turn around and block. Bullshit. They gotta make Metal Gear again. They gotta nerf some of this shit. I see why they gotta nerf her, bro. You can't give her all this movement stuff. It's like all your lows can't hit hit her in some position. They gotta they gotta nerf her man. I see why people talk shit about that character. I mean I beat her once. 
That was, that was a different person. Oh, another dragon off? Do we need this shit, man? Hopefully Puffy not watching the stream. I doubt it. Nobody's watching these streams. You serious? Appreciate you guys watching the stream. And if you can't leave a like and all that other good stuff. But man, you guys are getting hundreds of people who show up each week. Having hundreds of people showing up in every stream, maybe. He willing to? No, I'm not willing to give it up for no subs. Oh fuck you! I just got hit in the dick. He gonna be rapping about snow buddies instead of talking about white boys. You have a bunch of sussy looking white dudes in the video dancing. Almost kiss songs. <laughs> the kiss songs about to be a gay each other. You can rap about VKM and Dominican women, maybe. Well, if he rap about VKM and Dominican women, you know you need to sue him. That's all you, Richard. Thank goodness. <sighs> nah, I'm not willing to give up shit for subs. The opposite of that. I don't, I'm not even willing to do basic YouTube shit for subs. Gotta give up my ass. You serious? Did you plug it? Probably take a plug. I don't care. I'm sick of this dress. It is this fucking game. Kiss was always cringe. Sucking their assholes, fuck kiss. You win. Better give up the bussy for still in the top. No, nobody's giving up. No bussy. Keep the bussy to yourself. Yeah, I haven't really. You don't hear. I don't remember you had a bad experience with, with kiss. They just seem. You know, yeah, I guess they okay, but kind of overrated. They probably were industry plants looking back. You know what I mean? We didn't have that term back then, but they definitely seem like it. They were just industry plants of the era. Become a frag. It's safe. It's not safe in the YouTube prison. Oh, Lord.
Gene by himself way overrated, yeah. You win. No pain, no gain. If you don't know. Alright, playing around with shaders and blitters. Shout out to Shout out to you uh, even messing around with Blender. I wish I could learn Blender. Shout out to the youth. You rich y'all zombie main all being creative and shit. Good for you guys. Don't lose that creative spirit to old age. Try to get the perfect me metal material. Well, good luck with that, man. Do your thing. Get ready for the next battle. Fucking man. Does anybody play a normal character? Does everybody play cheat characters, man? Everybody's either Dragon off, Ling's on you, a king. And this is a Florida man, too. Tyler Hassel won. And he dressed like Florida man, too. His character. Tombstone. I hate King. All his crabs do tons of damage. Oh, chill. Come on, bro. This is fucking. Blitz is 2017. Congrats, man. That's dope. First character in the fucking game. No, to one of them. I, I consider the word, but some people might say some of the other assholes I have to deal with. This dude, yeah, I got Tombstone twice. No rematch, man. I can't, I can't deal with K. No. Get ready for the next battle. <laughs> Gene needs a <laughs> yo, yo. You know Gene is uh one of those what what since you did call him the tunnel tunneler. He a tunneler, bro. Watch out. Those people might be at your door. They don't play that. And I don't want you to get a uh, guy to give for your account. Oh, man. <laughs> Shouldn't have said it out loud, but it's just so funny to say. Be ungovernable. Fair enough. Fuck, fuck the government. Tear down the government. They don't speak for us. Get ready for the next battle. Devil Jane. Literally, everybody here is S tier. Literally. I'm not I ain't for one character that ain't damn near a cheat character yet tonight. Not one. Now, nah, this game puts these characters in. So that's, it's on them. And it's not like everybody's unbeatable. It's just like these characters. It's like, it's like I'm in a bunch of boss matches. That's what it is. Like, playing Tekken. Especially not this version. When they got some character that can just be any guy. Here. They be learning your wrong spellings and shit. Oh man. Sheesh. Alright, more.
crazy they even loaded wrong spellings. <laughs> That's wild. Oh wow, it's a grab. Ugh. Fight. What didn't you already post that? Wasn't it already gross? I don't know if that was a Diddy or a Mace one. Something about coming and softening people. Oh Jesus. Just let him shoot lasers at you, see everything, and I got black in the room. Can't do anything. Yeah, it was right, man. It's fucking nasty shit. Off of the thug is wild, right? Especially after you just said you're coming in. Like, what the fuck, my guy? Oh, they cheated right here. That's not. It's supposed to stop low. <laughs> that cartoony looking face. Oh, jeez. That's not what he meant by 10 years from now he'll still be on top. Come on. He meant like he would still be popular. At least that's what I think he meant. I don't know. After tonight, I don't know how I'm supposed to box for Puffy, right? He gets I mean, it's... The fact that you've delivered on it getting worse is crazy. Look at all the shit in this game. It's terrible for some. No, well, yeah, rip out the spots. I don't know what the hell that meant. Some Batsy Boy stuff I'm not up on, really. Yeah, there's 
I mean, the, the shit he's posted has been pretty bad, honestly. Get ready for the next battle. It's been some fucked up stuff, man. Real question that we all wanted. Will I make it to Orange Race by the end of the night? Huh? Hope so. Still looking. Get ready for the next Lars. Okay, a normal character. Lars is normal. He can still be, he can still be an asshole like any character. He's not like... He'll still fuck me up. It's not like... It's crazy. Oh, they got the Leon Kennedy cosplay. Oh, what the fuck? What's the tracking line down here? The tracking on that one hot kick is just tired. It didn't look right. Fight. Goodness gracious. This dude's name is Booty Eater. I didn't even realize it. <laughs> Booty Eater 96. So what was he about? 28, 28 year old ass eater, dude. He beat my ass. Breath smelling like asshole, and this guy's putting the beating on me. Round two. Golly. BLM Punk. BLM Punk. There's a classic game in there. Booty eater. <laughs> he's, a, he's single, ladies. Or fellas. I don't know what which booty he is. Enough 
kill him. BLM pump. BLM pump. I wish that was a real gimmick. So these wrestling could be interesting. What's Diddy Gaming name? Apparently, Booty, Booty Year 96. Maybe because 96 is when he was at his hottest. Gotcha. Booty Destroyer 69. Yeah, that's probably it. Probably Booty Destroyer. You're right. I'm having is trying to make metal getting close to plastic. Speak, oh, speak the stretcher 69 69 420. Uh, I can't make anything, Blender. So you're ahead of the curve. Get ready for the next battle. You're ahead of the curve. Head of the curve. Yeah, I wish I wish I knew Blender. Should I be making my own game instead of playing, right? I don't think we're gonna make it to that one. Get ready we, we get to next oh, battle. Too many L's. Too many L's. Round one. Fight. So I can steal a round, but it's getting all three. Fight. You got a lot of power with these bases. Put that uh gauge. <laughs> no, no, no. Gay shit on weed. Some, some people say uh put something in the weed. Who knows? Who knows they putting in this weed? Could be turning the frogs gay. Who knows? Golly! 
Yeah, maybe the weed was laced with gay. Yo, is that for D'Angelo Russell? Bruce tailbone. Somebody else got a groin injury. We can't manage sore groin both out. Well, we know what the fuck they was doing last night. I know what you did last night. Gay shit. Oh my goodness, man. Hate this character. Yeah, Bruce Tailboy is bone the sword growing simultaneously is very sus. You motherfuckers doing. Got him. The stream is dedicated to closet and gay moments. By the way, amphibians naturally change their sex in regards to gender imbalances. The more accurate turns turn to frogs trance. Okay. Well, the water's turned to. But it's not, it doesn't sound as funny. You finally got the metal material. I'm glad you talked that I made it. But it's not as funny as the, you know, the Alex Jones. It turned to freaking frogs again. That's the whole. So, I guess, you know, turn to frogs trance still has to Baker Gay and Lane. Round two. So they turn the frogs trance to be specific according to uh Fizz. I believe it. Jesus Christ. Definitely not as funny as a line. They, 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 I think they do uh, identify as amphibians and all sorts of craziness. I don't think they identify as demons. So yeah. Let's be with this demon. Demonized eyes. How would you identify as a demon? I don't know. They do it though. Oh, we did make it to the orange ranks. We did make it. I didn't think we would make it tonight. I'm just talking. We made it to the orange ranks. That was the goal. I can't just saying it. I mean, what do you do? How do you identify as half of this shit? You know, okay, gender fluid, I get. I don't know. But they'll call themselves all sorts of crazy shit. Man. I don't know what that shit means. You know what I mean? Yeah, no way I understand. You just like, what do you do? You just say it. it. You don't have to do anything. Like, if you're asking me, hey, what does that mean? Nobody knows what it means. But provocative, it gets the fucking people going. Another dragon off with the uh, splinter cell get up, which is kind of cool. I must admit. 
bitch. Keep getting old. Yeah. Start getting hot. Yeah. That's how that goes. Boss battle. Fight. Stop getting greedy on them. Stop being greedy. Tumblr. Lawful evil. Yeah, what is all that? I never understood all that shit. Chaotic evil and all this other dumb shit. You just evil. You get evil, you're not. You still lost, fucker. You win. It's a D and D thing that over has in real life. Oh, personality alignment. So that's actually from D and D. I didn't know that. I, I've always heard thought it was from Tumblr shit. From D and D, there's combinations of lost, lawful, and chaotic to consider. I see. I see. I did not know it was a D and D thing. Yeah, I I was with since you did. I thought it was some Tumblr shit because you see it. I didn't know that's where the origin was. So I guess the origin was D&D &D this whole time. Battle. Hey, Sonya Lissette. Appreciate you being here. Playing a little Tekken. Appreciate you joining the craziness that is the E stream. Made it in rank when we wanted to. This is a surprise. We're now officially a mid Tekken player. Mid tech and A play, I should say. Orange and red are the mid ranks. We're lower mid, but we're mid nonetheless. So we'll take it. Baking crafty guys. Everyone's doing something while they do a stream. That's just cool. Because I know I watch streams do other shit. So I appreciate you guys. Choosing me to, you know, oh shit, we got a uh, Scooby Doo cosplay. Velma. I'm about to get my ass whooped by Velma, guys. You can tell after the first few seconds who's gonna win the round in Tekken, bro. And it ain't me, not this one. I just got my ass thrashed by Velma. That's what she said. Good, the right thing to do, but it's rarely any fun. Fair enough. in real life, oh boy.
Golly, you can be good, be a you, and a little selfish doesn't mean you're evil. See, fair enough. I can't believe I got my ass beat by them. That sucks. Let's try it again. Then he pulls out the strap, turns out, cut my head off. The blind dude in the hood, you ignore him because I'm on like sweet toys. Yes, Velma. Velma cosplay is beating the shit out of me. Got one round. I remember when Little Caesars was cheap. Yeah, you said 350. 350. I'm sorry, man. You have to go through that, Richard. I've, I've been through it when I was young. We were broke as shit. <laughs> we were broke as shit. So it's, it's unfortunate, man. Oh my god. They're not letting me block grabs! I hit the right. Well, actually, no, I don't know. Maybe I didn't hit the right break. Fuck. When I. Do Rally is just a memory when your stomach's empty. Is that a lyric? Cause that sounds like a lyric. That sounds like a real bar. Get ready for the next yes, Velma was smoking me. I was fucking crazy. And it wouldn't let me block grabs. I, and I, I knew the last one was coming. I thought I hit the right button. Maybe it's a two break. I hit one. I assumed it was a one or two break. Maybe it, or it was maybe there was a one and two break. I don't know which break battle. that was. And I didn't pay attention to which hand was you. And then here it comes Raina. Morality only matters when it helps making bad choices. But I mean, hey, sometimes you do go through that you gotta do what you gotta do thing. This might be my last. It's a bar, can't remember where it's from, fair enough. Is this what you want? You just like, oh, I want attention. This might be the last fight of the night, guys. Because I'm sick of getting whooped on. Especially by these waifu bitches. These waifus be wiping the floor with me. Thank you. Starving in Vegas when I was in my 20s. A friend of mine bumming at the student union, UNLV, at PBJ. A loaf of bread there. There you go. What you gotta do? You know, one kind of side effect, though, of, uh, I was thinking, of, you know how they got that law in some places where, you know, as long as it's under $900, they're not even going to prosecute you. Still, that's one side effect. You are going to have people, you know, people don't, got, don't got to go hungry. They can just go to CVS and get whatever the fuck they want. You know what I'm saying? So, I'm sure those, yeah, those probably was the best PB&Js you ever had. Given the struggle. 
it was probably was like, man, they must put some extra shit in this jelly. I don't know what's in this bitch. I was just a struggle. I would, I would struggle flavor uh, PB and J. That's why it tastes so good. Never a fan of PB and J. I wasn't the biggest fan, but I, if that's what you gotta do. That's what you gotta do. Okay, we'll do this. Oh, they don't want to do the set. Two and a half hours. I go off with a win. I don't think I'm gonna do better than that, guys. I went to, I made to the ranks that I want to. We're in orange ranks. We went two and a half hours. We talked a little shit, had a little fun, cracked jokes. We laughed, we cried. We found out how gay '90s rap lyrics really were. I don't know what else we could do for tonight, man. I think this is about complete of a night of streaming as we're gonna get. One on three platforms. Anybody Twitch with us? Nope. Anybody kick it with us? Nope. It is what it is. It is what it is. We were uh, doing our, um, we still did the stream thing. Still have like 11 people here now. If you haven't liked the video, please like the video. We got 15 likes. I'll take that. I'll take that. So on that bombshell, I think it's time to end. So if you like the video, please like the video. If you're so obliged to share and subscribe, please do that. But even if you do none of these things, thank you for watching. Thank you for your time. Good night. God bless and everything. I'll talk to all you guys later. Hopefully tomorrow. We'll see. We'll see if I fill up to it. All right. Peace.